Oh, we got that. We got that kayak life now. Crack of dawn. All right. So given how there's no access to fish in South Florida saltwater, we've uh, turned to pushing water kayak charters to get us out into uh, some some good fishing, hopefully. And we've got a really nice morning. We've got these guys out there. Matt's never been in a kayak. Bill, and Melissa have been in a kayak a few times, but should be good. I don't know. We're gonna fish for snook, jacks. Yo, the weather was blowing. It was like blowing 25 miles an hour in Miami when we left this morning. I was worried that uh, we were gonna get up here and it's gonna be really bad. But now, ooh, something swirled right there. We good. We good. Yeah. No wind. Beautiful Florida wilderness out here. All right, so what we're doing right now is looking for tarpon that are rolling. There's resident tarpon in this uh, river system. We've seen a few roll already. It looks like we're using some uh, shrimp lures, DOA shrimp. Yeah, they are. Oh, Bill's on. He's Bill is not jumping. Oh, yeah, Bill. All right, so Bill has got a tarpon on right now. That's a good tarpon too. Fun size, hell yeah. Damn. Damn. Probably. You can lift that out of the water, right? Yeah. yeah. Dang, Bill. Yeah, Bill. That's a landed tarpon. He ain't 20 pounds, but he's a good one. Here, I'm going to get close. Yeah, Bill. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hold on. I haven't taken it yet. All right. They're all right. Yeah. Hold on. All right. So basically, we're just sitting here waiting for them to roll. And when they roll, we're, ca we're casting on top of them. I don't think that was a tarpon. Jumped over there. I don't think that cast is going to get him. I had a lure change. We're putting on the goofy fish. Bill's a happy camper now. Something is waking. Are you here? I don't know what that is. Mullet? Oh, fish just hit that mullet, dude. Jesus. All right, so uh, we've seen a lot of tarpon this morning. Uh, they're hard to, they're hard to like nail on the head. You know, it's definitely tricky to get a lure in front of them. But uh, there's some, some fish working some bait around here, and uh, I'm gonna try putting on one of these little swim baits here. This one's made by Kettle Creek. I got it weightless. Oh no, this thing. Should do a pretty good job of imitating a mullet. I'm basically just gonna slow crawl it across the surface, particularly where I see bait fish. And hopefully we catch something. I don't know. Good number of fish around here though. That's for sure. We're in the right spot. Dang, see like something is happening over there. Something just happened right over there. Right, so we're gonna make this little cut right here. We're going through to the other side and there's a bunch of docks over here. I guess this is some kind of channel and we're gonna snook fish. We're gonna try to catch some snook. Snooks will be up in here, hopefully. The wind will definitely make it interesting, especially for my inexperienced friends. But uh, yeah, I think we're gonna be all right. I mean, we got Bill got a tarpon today. And uh, that's pretty good. Just getting a tarpon. Yeah. You lost a big snook. Really? It was big like that. There's one. Fish on. Solid. 
Solid snook. It's a snook? Oh, it's a cuda. It's a cuda. It's a solid cuda, though. Probably the biggest cuda I ever caught. Hey. Cuda, yeah! Hey, not the worst thing. First fish. Mr. Barracuda. Alright, I thought he was a little snook, but he's a cuda. Alright, we're gonna let him go. I'll take it. I'll take it. He didn't bite us off, so that's good. A snook, a snook. Mm. He ain't bad. Yeah. That ain't bad, snook. They are hard to hold, eh? There we go. Alright. We're gonna let him go. Alright. So this is like the better zone, you would say, these docks? This is the lure I'm using right now. I think it's probably a quarter ounce jig head max. And then like a dark colored soft plastic. I think this is a DOA cow, if I'm not mistaken. But any soft plastic, it's gonna work pretty well, I believe. And right, we got the dock piling there. These snooks like the shade. I think all fish from Florida like the shade. They like everything about the docks, you know? So we jig them, we jig them, similar to like largemouth. Let's see if we can get one from under there. It looks, it looks promising. Woo. Dang, okay. Was not expecting to get a fish right there, but we got one. Hey, snook, nice snook. Yeah, I got one. There he is. It's a snook. A decent snook. I was just putting some sunscreen on because uh sun's getting strong. Hey, a snook. Let's get him off and let him go. Nice fish. Good fight. Release. Maybe we can get another one off this dock. Alright, so we kayak for a while. As you can see the skies were pretty bluebird it was like a west wind a cold front had come through and like apparently shut down the fish it was tough out there but uh i don't know we got off the water around noon and we went to the house and then around dusk we went back out all right we just witnessed the the tarpon blitz big tarpon some of the biggest tarpon ever big schools and mullet a lot of tarpon we got kicked out within five minutes so we got Melissa who is going to drop us off somewhere else that we think there might be tarpon. Miami has nowhere to fish, like zero places. There's plenty to fish, but nowhere to get to it. Everything's illegal. Except Everything's illegal. Except doing drugs. Except they, drugs. They don't care about that. You can do all the drugs you want, but if you want to fish, you're screwed. That's Miami. All right, hopefully the tarpon are there. I mean, it ain't far. It's not like we got to drive an hour. Here we go. All right, this is the second hook up here. Big tarp, big tarp. He's going out to the ocean too. We gotta get this fish. We gotta get him. I'm worried about that fucking corner again. It's like uh, smaller. No, the tide's he's not good. ripping. Yeah, he's good. We're fine. 
to say that now. You said Chris, not yet. Oh, no, it's going to be a little while. Let me see if I can put this on my head. The one that we hooked before this was probably twice as big. This one is more manageable, but he's still giant. Oh, he's turned. Woo! Woo! He's weak, dude. He's weak. Mm. He's in a bad spot. He needs to go somewhere else. Honestly, I don't know, like, what the protocol is with rocks. Oh, man. Oh, shit. Please. Please. You want to take my phone just in case I got to hop down there? Someone? Say we can hop down. Yeah, yeah. If you're going to hop down, give give my phone to whoever's not going to hop down. Bill, that's in there. That's in there, Bill. He's, he's tired. Just stay right where. Yeah. All right, I'm going to try to bring him in right here, dude. Right here. Coming in. Coming in. Just stand back. I'm telling these people to stand back. We can't take him out of the water, but he's ours, dude. That's, that's a catch, dude. Bill, you might got to get to that next rock, Bill. Next rock. Yep, that rock, Bill. Down. He's ours, dude. That's a catch. That's a freaking catch. All right, you got a camera? You got a camera? Don't pull him out. Don't pull him out. I got him. All right, here, take my rod. Take my rod. I got him. I got him. Yes. Yo, we need a picture. Picture. That is a freaking poon, dog. That is a freaking poon. That is a freaking poon. We're keeping him in the water. You got a pick? You got the phone? Chris, I got yours. You got the pick? Turn your headlamp off. Hold on, hold the rod, hold the rod. Nah, it's fine, dude. I got it. You're not allowed to take him out of the water. That's a catch, though. We got a nice poon, man. Sick poon. We're going to release him. I'm going to get the hook out. I'm gonna unhook him right here. Hooks out. He's fine. Grab my tail, okay, hold him just like that. All right, take that picture right there, dude. Take that. Oh, please get that. Got it. Got it. Yeah. We're gonna let this piece go. It's not not nearly as big as the last one. The last one was freaking monstrous. That is a freaking poon, though. I'm gonna let him revive here. All right, cool. I'm gonna let him catch his breath. Uh, he's gonna kick right here. He's gonna go, he's ready. He's good. There he goes. Oh, yeah. Oh. My God, I got him on this color right here. This, uh, this one, this one. Oh, you got him on the fucking motor oil. Yeah, you want that, John? Take that, John. Nah, you take it, dude. Dude, you have a better chance of landing it than me, dude. Yeah, but my it. arms are shot. It don't, it don't matter. matter. It, don't, it don't even matter. Like either one's gonna be good. It don't matter. Either that. one's gonna be good. You put that. On. All right. Either one's gonna work. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I got two bumps on these. They're hitting whatever. They're hitting whatever. Right? Yeah. It's like almost like if you roll it past them and they're hungry, they're gonna eat whatever. It if is. they see it, they're gonna eat it. Yeah. Like, so what I got here is some 80 pound flora. Tying it to a swivel. The fisherman's knot. We're gonna go back with this jig head. Shout out, shout out. We gotta give a shout out to Magic Tail Bucktails for making a super quality jig head. This thing. Definitely hooked that tarpon real good. Did not straighten at all. Had the heat on them fish. I don't know how big that fish was. You can't take them out of the water when they're over 40 inches. That fish was definitely over 40 inches, but probably not by too much. Maybe like low 50 inch range. 
I don't know. He looked about like a 50 pounder, 60 pounder. Shout out to Mateo for selling me this VS 200. Nice, nice reel here. That was the first one I ever caught. That was the third tarpon I've hooked in my life. The second one was just before, about 45 minutes earlier. First one I hooked, I, should, I wish I had the camera rolling. We got to look at him. He was freaking huge. Tide was ripping when I hooked that fish. And therefore, you know, given his size and the strong tide, we had no shot. But uh, we are hooking this mega shad that all right that's what the fish hit there's there's mullet running right now their mullet are about you know 12 inches long this thing does a good job of mimicking a mullet so we get that the vs 200 this is an eight foot six pompano bay rod it says nine foot on the blank that's because i broke six inches off it 12 to 25 pound line one to four ounce uh this is not as heavy as I would like, not as long as I would like, but it got it done on that fish. And now the tide has turned, it's going out. Buddies have hooked up, well, missed a couple bites. It seems like the fish are still around. And uh, there's just, like mad shady people here. Everyone is trying to steal belongings. Yeah, people tried to break into our car yesterday. Uh, these people down here are freaking savages in Florida. No offense to you Floridians. You probably know what I'm talking about I'm gonna get back out there. I've spent about a half hour Sitting around doing nothing just letting my arms recuperate keeping them fish out of the rocks is hard work They like to stay deep fishing this jetty You know, it's tough. So All right, I'm gonna get back out there. We're gonna see if we can hook another and get another Tide, tide has turned and uh, we'll see what happens. Damn, okay, the tarpon are moving in. Bill just missed, lost two, just jumped. They're they're down there, uh, they're down there. Bill, Bill just lost two, the wind's blowing hard. This audio is gonna suck, but we're doing our best out here. It's going off, dude, it's going off. Bill just missed, this is my first cast, like, oh damn, oh damn. Oh my god, we gotta tighten up. We're getting spooled. We're getting spooled. Tarpon are going off. This is a big one. For sure. For sure, a big one. He just took like so much line in like 10 seconds. And he hasn't turned once. It's, it's crazy. We gotta tighten up. We got the heat on this fish. Oh boy, this pool is hot, baby. Oh, there he goes. There he goes. There he goes. All right, turned him. I don't know if we have any shot at this fish. I'm gonna have to break him. Oh my God. There he goes. I don't know if he popped off or broke off. That, that was a monster. It's popping off, son. It's popping off, son! Get him, Bill! Get him, Bill! <laughs> Third one! Yo! Hopefully... Ooh. Oh! Oh! Jump. Jumped him. That's alright. It's so on. I got broken off. Oh, no. oh, you're good. Get another. Get yourself I'm another. I'm afraid up, dude. Yeah. That's my third one. Yeah. Retie, retie. Where it's a it's a hot bite. It's Where a quick bite. I got the 80 pound. Need we need we need 200 pound, Bill. We need the 200 pound. God damn it. It's hot, Bill. That's the third one in like two minutes, dude. Yeah. Here, out here. That's gonna show. Oh my god. It's on. Oh. Oh, dude, it's so going on. He took everything. We need some 200 pound. Oh yeah. All right, get back. You're lucky. You're lucky. Right, here, I, I get you. I get you, Bill. Hook three. You hooked three, Bill. I hooked three. Here. Yo, did my drag that was sound a, too loose there? That was the longest I was hooked up. Uh, if anything, no. you got to keep it tight for the hook set. Yeah, the hook keep set. Keep it tight for the hook set. And then after the hook set, like maybe loosen it a little. Maybe not, though. Dude, you fucking hold this. The, whole mega the, 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 the line. Okay. They're like, 
How come you keep throw that fish back, man? We take it, we take it. I was like, you get a big fine. They were like, we pay the fine. I was like, oh, yeah, no. You gotta catch one if you want it. Bill's cracked. He's raging. Right here? You rigged up? I need a mega. They're right here. Look me up with a mega shed. Just take one, Bill. Which color will he choose? Oh, he's going dark. Yeah. He's going he's dark. Green. We got five left. I got one in my bag. Six left. I got like, I got some, I got some shit. Oh, that. The canal special. Oh, yeah. Okay, it's on. You could try casting out here. Like the fish are out here too, yeah. just as much. I mean, I just had like four and like three casts. But if you cast out here, you're closer to the end of the jetty. And like you could get them around. Let's see here. I'm not even casting. I got a rig up. I want to see Bill hook up. What you do is you cast it out and just reel it real slow. Yeah. And hopefully sometimes this trend will continue. Yeah. Oh, it's going to continue, Bill. It was gigantic. Yeah. The, uh, the second I saw it jump, I'm like, there's no chance. Yeah. All right, guys. So uh, I'm going to rig up here. I haven't rigged up since uh, the last the last bite I had. I've been just kind of spectating here. Bill just broke off like a monster and he's off? Unreal. Damn. <laughs> Unreal. I heard him jump. I heard him. I'm talking about GoPro. There is a number of large tarpon <laughs> hanging out really no other way to in the rip. This is pretty much my last hammer jig head here. And we're gonna put on another mega shad here. And we're gonna rig this up. I don't think Larry Dahlberg himself could land one of these tarpon on our gear. No. All right, I'm gonna get ready to try to catch one of these poons here. This is my first cast after about a 30 minute hiatus. Let's see if we can hook up here. Is my drag set? Oh, it's super tight. Probably maybe just a little too tight. We don't want that instant break off, you know? There we go, now we're talking. On! On! Jesus! Such monsters, dude. Monsters. That was the ticket. All right, the bite is over. We're going home. It's one o'clock in the morning. Because one tarpon, we lost many. All right, see you guys later.